stop chasing your twin flame or your soulmate and instead do this. A lot of times us chasing this specific person holds us apart from experiencing the love that is trying to make its way into our life but can't reach us since we are blocking it out. That's why in this video I've got three powerful ways, three powerful things to do instead of chasing your twin flame or your soulmate. Three things that you gotta do instead in order to bring real love into your life. Check it out. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Meditation with Chris. I'm Chris and in today's video, stop chasing your twin flame or your soulmate and instead do this. A lot of times, like I said a minute ago, it's that one belief or that one idea or component. The fact that you are chasing something outside of yourself is one of the main reasons why you don't attract real love into your experience. One of the main reasons why you're not with what you would call a soulmate or a twin flame, right? And these are just man-made labels anyways, twin flame, soulmate, whatever it may be, because all that there really is is law of attraction. You're always attracting different people and different things into your experience based off of the vibration that you are. And a lot of times while we begin to undergo our spiritual awakening experience, we begin to undergo these spiritual changes and we raise our vibration and we evolve into greater versions of ourselves. A lot of times you'll start attracting different people and different things into your life because you are evolving and your vibration is changing, your vibrational set point is changing, therefore you are attracting different people and different things into your experience based off of the vibration as you are. Right? A lot of times we have this one belief that a specific person is our twin flame or one specific person is our soulmate. And that doesn't mean you can't spend your life with whoever you choose because you are the creator of your reality and you can create whatever experience that you prefer. And if you believe it to be so, then it is true. And I always like to say in this all-inclusive universe where there are an infinite amount of truths, if you believe it to be so, then so it is. The real question that we have to be asking ourselves here, guys, is do we have beliefs that are serving us or do we have beliefs that are holding us back? Do we have beliefs that are preventing us from having certain experiences that are trying to make their way into our life based off of the law of attraction. So, just understand that a lot of these terms that we use, twin flames, soulmates, not everybody's on the same page anyways. What you call a soulmate, somebody else might call their twin flame and vice versa. But just realize that at the core essence of who and what we actually are, guys, we're all one divine force of energy. We are unconditional love, experiencing itself in an infinite amount of ways. We are. We all come from the one source energy, right? If you've watched my playlist about the fifth dimension, then you'll know that everything is one and appears separate in this 3D illusion, in this three, third density experience. Everything appears like it is separate, but we're all one. We're all one, guys. And a lot of times, by thinking one specific person or one ego identity, one 3D version aspect of yourself is your twin flame or destined to be yours, a lot of times we'll have you know, weird experiences with these people and then sometimes people will be holding on to that idea that that one person is their twin flame for the rest of their life and thus they don't find love ever again because they are vibrationally holding themselves apart from the love that is trying to make their way into their life, from the new experiences that are attempting to make their way into their life, yet you are holding on to this one belief that this one specific person who doesn't even want to talk to you ever again is your twin flame or your soulmate meant to be yours, right? And I'm not here to bash on, you know, the, the labels, the twin flame labels or the soulmate labels because it can be a beautiful thing if the belief is serving you. You see, if the belief is serving you, it can be a real beautiful thing. But a lot of times we just need to ask ourselves if this belief is serving us. And a lot of times if it's not serving us, we just need to do some cleaning up on our beliefs and some tuning, some vibrational tuning with our beliefs and our thoughts, right? So instead of focusing on the, twin, the idea of the twin flame, instead of focusing on the idea of the soulmate, realize that everything is one, everything is love, and as you raise your vibration and change your vibrational set point, you will attract new lovers into your life until you do find that one person that 
is willing to grow and expand with you and continue to raise your vibration together and then thus you will create experiences together. Right? And if it's meant to be, if you want it, then it's meant to be. Because again, you are the one creator of your reality and you can create whatever experience you choose to be. But here's three things to do instead of just focusing on those two specific labels and trying to attract one specific person, trying to attract these specific people into our life. Here's what you can do instead and you will attract the right person at the right time. You will attract the right things at the right time as long as you're in alignment with these truths and these knowings. All right? The first thing that you gotta do, the first thing that you gotta do instead of focusing on one specific person to attract or one specific thing to attract or focusing on attracting your twin flame and thus chasing something outside of yourself, the first thing that you gotta do is fall in love with yourself and fall in love with the unfolding of your dreams. Fall in love with the unfolding of your desires because the truth is here, you're here on this earth. You're here, on this, you're here to experience the unfolding of your desires. You're here to ex experience the unfolding of your dreams. And some of you might be saying, well, Chris, one of my desires is to experience eternal love with another companion. And that can be true. And that can definitely be the case. And that can still be so if you're following these three things. What I'm saying is just stop focusing on the label itself. Stop focusing on the twin flame label itself. And a lot of times we have certain beliefs around the labels due to the media putting out certain things or following other people's beliefs, right? Other people have beliefs about what a twin flame means. Other people have beliefs about what a soulmate means. But I meant to tell you that they're just beliefs. And if you believe it to be so, then so it is, right? But I meant to tell you that Life is meant to be experienced for yourself. You are meant to have your own experiences and you are meant to develop your own beliefs based off of your own experience. Even history, guys, is just his story. It's not our story, right? Even history is just his story. It's not our story. So life is meant to be experienced for yourself. Sorry if you're hearing all these background noises today, guys. I forgot my microphone at home. So the sound might be a little off, but I'm gonna keep going with the video anyways, right? So the first thing that you gotta do Instead of focusing on the belief that one specific person is your twin flame or a soulmate, right? Because you can find love anywhere in the world as long as you have developed a certain amount of love within yourself. That's why the first thing that you gotta do is fall in love with yourself, fall in love with the unfolding of your life, with the unfolding of your desires, fall in love with the process of it instead of trying to get somewhere fast. When you can actually enjoy the process and enjoy the unfolding of your desires and the unfolding of your life, because you have certain passions and you have certain dreams, guys. You have certain things that are aligned with who you really are that if you can get in alignment with, you will have so much fun in the unfolding of these specific things. You'll have so much fun in the process of it, right? And I always say that you have talents, right? And your talents, and the word talent literally comes from the Latin word talentum, which means a sum of money. Your talents are meant to bring you eternal prosperity and they're always gonna be aligned with your passion and your purpose and what you came here to do on the planet. And the moment that you can get in alignment with your passion and your purpose, you will attract people, things, and situations that resonate with who you really are, with the things that you truly enjoy doing, with the things that feel good to you and resonate with your soul and set your soul on fire, right? They say that you find the one you love when you're doing what you love, because you're gonna be attracted to the same things, right? So get in alignment with yourself and start falling in love with yourself. Start falling in love with discovering more of yourself discovering more of the rest of your life and you will attract love into your experience. I promise you this. So what's the second thing that you gotta do instead of focusing on these man-made labels? The second thing that you gotta do, you realize that you're already worthy, whole and complete. A lot of times we have the belief or the idea based off of the twin flame or the soulmate that this is the other half to our soul. That we need to do healing to attract this person or place or thing into our life, whatever it may be. But the truth is, you are already a worthy, whole, and complete soul. You are already worthy, whole, and complete, and it is only the belief and your focus and attention that makes you believe otherwise. It is your attention to things that make you believe that you are not worthy, that you are not whole, that you are not complete, that you need to heal yourself. Right? Because you are already healed. You are already a worthy, whole, and complete being. But what are you focusing on that makes you believe otherwise? What are you placing your attention towards that makes you believe that you need to do certain things, that you need to change certain parts of yourself in order to attract the perfect companion? I mean to tell you that if you can get in alignment with who it is that you really are, 
and realize that you already are worthy and complete and you just need to start experiencing life that you will attract the perfect lover at the perfect time when it best serves your highest good guys it's all about divine timing and divine alignment right if you're seeing number patterns today 11 11 222 333 then you're in alignment with where you're truly meant to be and you will attract the perfect lover and you will attract perfect scenarios and per perfect components that will bring you the perfect experience at the right time as long as you have trust in yourself you have trust in the universe okay but that's why the second thing that you got to do is just realize that you are already worthy you're already whole and you're already complete there is nobody that's going to complete your soul but as long as you are feeling worthy and you're feeling abundant and you're feeling complete within yourself then you will find somebody who is your perfect complement through law of attraction law of attraction as i said before is always bringing people things and situations into your experience based off of the vibration that you are so as we begin to expand and raise our vibration and evolve into better and higher versions of ourselves, then we're going to attract new people things and situations into our life that resonate with our expanded version of who we are right so a lot of times by holding the belief that you have one specific person that's meant to fulfill this hole or this void in yourself <laughs> you need to fill that void yourself if you want to find somebody that is going to be a perfect complement right but realize that you are already worthy whole you're already complete and you're already whole within yourself but do you have the belief that you need to heal yourself that you need to heal this yourself from the past because every moment is a new moment every moment is a new moment and all there is is the present moment you guys all there is is the present moment and all there is is right now and a lot of times we just need to change the meaning of the things that we give the past instead of saying this damaged me and this turned me into who I am today it did turn you into who you are today but is that a belief that's serving you or a belief that's working against you because you are creating your own beliefs you guys so instead of saying hey this damaged me and made me unworthy of love you can say this sprung my spiritual awakening experience. This helps me let go of the things that weren't serving me any longer so I could get more clear on who it is that I really am. So I could get more clear on what it is that I do want to experience. Thus, I am an already worthy, whole and complete being. And I can place my attention on things that will serve me and evolve me into a better version of myself. Things that do feel good to me, things that I do want to experience, right? So that's the second thing I got for us for today. Is just realize you, you are already a worthy, whole and complete being. And if you can realize that instead of chasing something or someone outside of yourself guys then you will attract all the right people at the right time even your perfect lover all right now what's the third thing that i got for us for today the third thing that you got to do the third thing that you got to do is just simply allow allow love and allow the blessings to come into your life right now because as we said before a lot of times it's you are the one component that is holding yourself apart from experiencing love, from experiencing all the love that is being offered to you by every, everybody that is in your life. Because love is a vibration, and like I said before, we are all one, and we are all connected to love. And love is a vibration that we are all connected to, and that we are not separate from. Because we are all source energy, experiencing ourselves in an infinite amount of ways. We are eternal. We are eternalness, having eternal experiences, right? So if you can just realize that and you can allow the love into your life today, you can just allow your blessings in by letting go of certain beliefs that aren't serving you any longer and start realizing that there's a bunch of love for you to experience right now. All of your friends, all of your family, all of the things that you've manifested already, there's love there for you to experience and pick right now. It's already ripe for you to pick. And you'll plant, you'll plant more seeds as you go, that's for sure. But realize that a lot of the love is already here for you to experience in the present moment. And a lot of times we're just holding ourselves apart from experiencing the love that is already here by placing our attention on seeking love outside of ourselves, by not going through the experience, by not appreciating the unfolding of our life experience. And thus we are holding ourselves apart from experiencing all the love that is already here for us, you guys. That's why the third thing that you got to do, instead of chasing the label of the twin flame, chasing the label of the soulmate, the third thing that you got to do is just simply allow the love, allow the blessings in that are already here right now and experience them to their fullest potential and really bask in the appreciation of the love that is already here for you guys. And thus you will raise your vibration 
you will move into a whole, a whole new vibrational set point, you guys, and therefore you will attract more things that resonate with that vibration into your experience. You will attract real love into your life today. All right, you guys. That's all I got for today. So peace and love and namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Later.